Aloha and welcome to another episode of Hawaii Food Explorers. Today we are going to check out Kahuku Farms in Kahuku. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, so they even have a cakey menu, so the kids menu, one option is a cheese pizza and the other one is a grilled peanut butter and jelly banana sandwich. And with that one, they use pineapple, papaya jam and apple banana, but the child chose the pizza for himself. So you're gonna give it a try, right? The pizza is marinara and mozzarella. <laughs> Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Two thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Okay, the kids menu items comes with fresh squeezed lemonade. Yeah. How is it? Good? Can you I like try it? Mm How -hmm. is it good? Mmm. Definitely very good. Yeah. I think the cheese pizza looks like it's on a focaccia bread. So it's not a typical, you know, cheese pizza from some other restaurant. <laughs> All right, we got a few drinks here as well. Okay, so we have what they call a farm fresh cooler. They have two options, lili koi, or technically lili koi, <laughs> and ginger. Okay, this is the lili koi. Um, so it's the lili koi fruit, basil, lemon, club soda, lili koi cooler. And we got the option with a scoop of lili koi sorbet mm. inside. And he got the ginger mm. option. With the sorbet. So mixing you it gotta up. get the sorbet. Mix the sorbet in there. This is so good. Nice and oh. slightly sweet, slightly tart, very refreshing. Every time you're out on this side, you have to get this ginger cooler. I personally like the ginger cooler. It has a bite of the ginger, but the aftertaste of lily koi. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. So there is a uh, famous shrimp shack right across the street. Whenever we go to that shrimp shack, we'll order and then run across the street and get these <laughs> <laughs> to drink while we're waiting for our shrimp. All right, you tried the lily koi, right? Lily koi very pronounced. The ginger is very gingery. <laughs> it has a bite of the ginger. The ginger flavor doesn't linger a long time. Uh, uh. <laughs> the, bite, the bite is there. It's kind of like a freshly made ginger ale. With lily koi. Yeah, that kind of kick. But the ginger is way more pronounced than like a canned ginger ale yes. or something like that. Like a fresh um, ginger ale. <laughs> I don't particularly care for ginger, um, but this is, it's tolerable. It's very refreshing. Yeah. Okay, their other two drink options are a mango iced tea unsweetened. Looks like um, you, they're using a black tea. Mm -hmm. And their plantation iced tea, which is the sweetened mango iced tea and pineapple juice. This is actually very tasty. For those of you who have had plantation tea, this is very similar, even though they're using a sweetened mango iced tea. It's very light, very refreshing. It's a very light flavor, like you said. Usually plantation 
tea tends to be on the sweeter side, uh, but this is very lightly sweetened. Um, it's a nice, uh, refreshing flavor for people who don't like things overly sweet. Mm -hmm. It just has a little touch of sweetness. This would be a very good complement to a lot of the dishes that they serve here. A very slight fruit hint, but tastes like a regular iced tea. Just a slight hint. The mango flavor is there. It's more of like a aromatic mm -hmm. <laughs> feel. It's not like a super strong mango flavor, but you can definitely feel it. Mm -hmm. It's not more, not really like taste it. It's more like you sense it there. Just a hint. <laughs> it has a presence. <laughs> Okay, next is their acai bowl. This is a seasonal item. Yeah, seasonal item. And what makes this one so special is that they actually grow the acai on the farm here. And that's a rare find, because usually yeah. acai is imported from somewhere. As far as I've heard, I mean, I've never heard of acai being grown here. So this yeah. might be the first. Might be the only one. Might be the first farm that's growing yeah. acai here on Hawaii. So for the acai base, it has acai, apple banana, mixed berries, haupia, soy milk, and agave. And it's topped with granola, apple banana, lilikoi butter, and a gram mac nut crumble. So mac nut is macadamia nut. To be honest, I don't know I never was really into the hype of acai bowls, so <laughs> uh, but we'll see if this changes my mind. Because this is a blend with all the different fruits and everything, the acai is going to be a little bit more liquidy than you would probably typically find in other acai bowls. It was also sitting for a couple minutes before we got to it, so... Oh, wow. That is really good. best acai bowl I have ever had. It's not really saying much. <laughs> I mean, we, we're just really not into acai, but I now could, we are. I could eat this. The other acai I've tasted is, is not as tasty as this. I think because of the blend. Yeah. This is good. Just to make sure. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what it was about the other acai bowls that we didn't really care for. I think it's the for. texture. Yeah, I think usually they make it like more icy. Well, the texture of this is that you have the soft, you have the fruits, you have the crunch of the granola, you have the, the, the lily koi in there, um, the lily koi butter, which I think is the, the topper it. right there, you know, and I, and I believe that this acai, since it's locally grown, has a different flavor than mm -hmm. those pre-made ones that they get shipped over here that are served at most acai places. This is a shocker for me. I was going to be like, eh, <laughs> what's so special? That's what I thought was going to happen. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. This this is worth the drive mm -hmm. because, you know, after a long drive, this would hit the spot. It's more like a smoothie, an acai smoothie in a bowl. Mm -hmm. Time for some regular food. We did dessert first. <laughs> um, this is their roasted vegetable soup. And it has eggplant, zucchini, bell pepper, chicken, basil, and tomato. And it's saying that it's gluten free. Another tip about that shrimp place across the street and you run over here and you get the coolers. I always pick this up. Mm -hmm. Along with the cooler. Those are good. This is something where I would I would feel really bad if I missed out on eating this while I was out this way. You know, I think this is the only thing on their menu that has meat in it. This has chicken. That's so good. Mm -hmm. It's something where the flavors blend well together. Very easy to eat and it just hits the spot, mm -hmm. you know? It definitely hits the spot. That blend of all those vegetables mm -hmm. And you can, you can get a slight taste of that chicken, but it's the vegetable base that really makes this. And it pairs very well with their side of garlic bread. Those are focaccia. Oh, so good. Garlic bread is excellent. Mm -hmm. Take the bread, dip it in the soup. 
Like a bite of bread, drink the soup. <laughs> I don't mind biting the bread. I don't, I'm not a real big believer in dipping a lot of things, especially when they're flavored already. If it were plain bread, maybe I would do that. But I think, you know, the garlic dipped into that soup. I mean, that soup is pretty ideal, pretty perfect the way it is. And my fear is that if I dip the garlic bread in there, it's going to change the flavor of the soup a little bit. And then I don't know. But I'm a I'll, dipper. I'll, I'll eat it separately. That's Are for you sure. a dipper or a non-dipper? I'll dip plain bread, <laughs> unflavored breads. Garlic bread, you want that garlic taste. Don't interfere, just <laughs> eat it. I'll, I dip it. Next is their grilled vegetable panini. This is pretty massive. So they do have a half sandwich option as well. This is on their focaccia again with grilled eggplant, bell pepper, and zucchini. Mm -hmm. I see that. Tomato, hydroponic lettuce, mm -hmm. fresh mozzarella, basil, and a balsam balsamic <laughs> balsamic herb mayo. Mm -hmm. Vegetables are nicely grilled. I literally just saw an Instagram story where they harvested these eggplants yesterday. It sure tastes like it. Mm -hmm. This tastes like freshness in your mouth. Um, it's very hearty because of the zucchini and the eggplant. This is very much a very meaty vegetable salad. Mm -hmm. um, and this will fill you up. It definitely has a lot of substance. It definitely does. Yeah. Okay. And if you're not into that much bread or carbs, <laughs> They have the grilled vegetable salad. <laughs> okay, so the grilled vegetable salad is made with their hydroponic lettuce, grilled eggplant, bell pepper, and zucchini, tomato, cucumber, mozzarella, and it comes with their lily koi balsamic dressing. I forgot to ask for a knife. It's a vegetable, you can bite it. Yeah. <laughs> but they're so big, see like these slices are huge, just like the ones they put in the sandwich. Mm -hmm. got dressing going. I mean, the vegetables speak for itself, but with the addition of that dressing, can't go wrong. And with the lettuce, it adds like a little extra crunch to it and the cucumbers. I really like the fact that they cut their cucumbers thick. I'm not a fan of just cutting your cucumbers paper thin. You want that substance on the cucumber. This dressing is not overly sweet and it's not overly powerful. Mm -hmm but it does bring out the flavor, the sweetness of the vegetables. Yeah, it's a nice complement to the vegetables. Very good. Eggplant grilled nicely, nice natural sweetness to that. Even if you don't typically eat a lot of vegetables and things like that, this place will make you love it. It has this, the, the vegetables have that, that real thickness to it. They cut it mm -hmm. thicker. So it does have a heavier feel to it. Like I said, you know, it does taste meaty. I could do, with or without the cheese and i'm sure if you come here and you don't want the cheese on there you can just tell them no cheese no they or have a lot cheese of on the side maybe yep dairy free gluten free mm -hmm. options mm -hmm. so whatever your dietary needs are they probably mm -hmm. have an option for you okay next, we next have up <laughs> lily koi butter mochi so this was on special it's not on their regular menu or on the online so yeah system. if you want to order online which they do have that option the special is not going to be on there as of now. It might change in the future. Uh, but this is their lily koi butter mochi. So butter mochi with a little dollop of lily koi. Probably has a lily koi flavor too in it. Oh. Now, now you have to eat it with the lily koi dollop on there. You're just trying to get me to eat more because I don't like uh, mochi. <laughs> the flavor is nice, but. I'm not a fan of butter mochi or mochi in general, but it's a nice flavor. It's a nice buttery little koi flavor. This is a very interesting mochi. It's the butter mochi by itself and that little koi adds a nice sweetness to it, adds a nice bit of moisture to it. Yeah, it's something I would buy again here. And the portion size is not really, really large in terms of each cupcake. It's fairly thin. I would buy it for you again here. Thank you. <laughs> I would welcome eating it. <laughs> We almost forgot. This is their farm pizza. 
tomato eggplant bruschetta topped with mozzarella and basil mac nut pesto. Smells delicious. It really does have that great aroma. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this one. This is what I usually get when we come here. You can order the pizza by itself, or you can order the option with a side salad. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with this one either. The flavors are just so nice on this, and you almost forget that you're eating all vegetables. Mm -hmm. I mean, with the exception of the mozzarella, pretty much everything else is plant-based. Mm -hmm. And the focaccia is really nice too. Nicely grilled. Yeah, it's has not, a good crunch to it. Uh, it's kind of... On the lighter side, it's not super heavy. I, I really do like that it's like pizza and mm -hmm. it has that little crunch to it, has the little breading, but it's all vegetables. It does have a heartier feel to it because of the thicker cut vegetables. Right. So we picked up two items from their retail section. They have many other items that they also sell online. So these are two of them. And this one is a dark chocolate with 70% cacao. And this one is milk chocolate with 50% cacao and it's made with the Kahuku Farms cacao, organic cane sugar, cocoa butter and the milk chocolate has organic milk powder. Now these are processed in small batches with their cacao beans. Yeah. Very nicely wrapped. So we'll try the milk chocolate first. Okay. It's a nice chocolate. If you've been eating like Hershey's and other types of chocolate from the store, this is definitely different. It has a super strong cocoa flavor and it's not ultra sweet, which is a nice thing. Mm -hmm. Especially for a milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's normally why I usually get dark chocolate because it's not as sweet. I prefer the little bit of bitterness. It's, this is a good balance. Yeah. All right, next is the dark chocolate. This one is 70%. Mm. I think I like this one better. They're both good, but hmm. this one, the cocoa flavor is very strong. <laughs> this tastes um, a lot different than regular dark chocolate, mm -hmm. and it has a lot to do with the beans. This is very good, and I would prefer to have eaten this one first and then eating the milk chocolate. But this one, again, is, is more bitter, but it has a very, very distinct flavor. Yeah, it says on the package that our chocolate bars are crafted to perfection with notes of bright and fruity flavors. And that's definitely evident, mm -hmm. in, especially in the dark chocolate. Because you're getting more of the bean, a higher percentage of it, those notes come out even stronger. Well done. Hi. Hey, we're in our wrap-up room again to wrap things up. <laughs> so the farm cafe at Kahuku Farm is absolutely amazing. It's like the best tasting, healthiest food <laughs> I think you can get on that side of the island. You really don't think a lot about it. When you're eating yeah. it, you don't think that I'm eating only vegetables. Yeah, you don't feel like, oh, where's the meat? You know, I miss meat. Mm. I didn't just... really get that feeling when we're eating yeah. that. You're eating it and you're like, wow, this tastes really good. That's basically what you say. Mm -hmm. You don't say, wow, this is really good for only vegetables. It just tastes good. <laughs> they allow you to just find a spot and picnic on the ground. You bring your own picnic blanket, bring your own chairs and socially distance at the moment from other people. It's totally fine. I feel like everyone was kind of respecting each other's boundaries as far as, you know, staying a decent amount of space away. For the most part. From yeah. each other. Yeah. yeah. All right. While you're waiting for your food or after you eat, you can take a walk around their a small area of the farm that they make available for you to give yourself a little tour and there's all these different plants that you can look at and it's a pretty nice casual mm -hmm. stroll yeah. actually it's like not too big mm -hmm. not too small and there are signs by each tree mm -hmm. giving you a brief description english or scientific name as well as the hawaiian name if there is one background of the tree what it was used for mm -hmm. there's some other details that go along with the tree and also how it benefits your health 
so in, in some cases. Now, there are signs that say do not pick, so please, as tempting as it may be, please do not pick the fruits and, and, and vegetables. Or touch it. It does say, does it say do not touch? It does say do not yeah. touch. <laughs> not do not pick, do not touch. Yeah, which implies do not pick. Yes. Did it say do not touch or pick? Either I, way, mm. don't put your fingers on it because <laughs> it's not for you. <laughs> when we got there, we were there maybe a few minutes after they opened and the line was already wrapping around the building. So I think that's like the peak time is when they open and up until about two hours after they open there's constantly a line uh, you are able to place your order online and it'll either tell you how long the wait is or you can schedule a specific time for pickup so you do have that option as well they have most of their items online as far as i can tell if there's anything on special that is not online just be aware when you order online be there before your scheduled pickup time, especially if you have drinks, um, because there is an option to put sugar yeah. in it. Or anything if you're going to get anything with sorbet or ice cream. Yeah. Try to be there like at the scheduled time so you can enjoy it as it's meant to be enjoyed. Okay, and to promote one of our local retailers, check out my hat. Make poi, not war. <laughs> made by salt water heels i picked this up at the homegrown store in pearl ridge mall so they have a collection of goods from various local retailers we'll put their website and instagram information in the description down below in case you're interested on picking one up for yourself nice app thanks i like it <laughs> It has a little poi pounder. Mm -hmm. That's what the, the object yeah. is for, for those of you not familiar That's with That's what it. they used to pound poi. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I really... This hat spoke to me when I saw it at the store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I got it. Making poi is not necessarily the easiest thing, but... Better than war. Better than war. <laughs> Tastier than war. Yeah. And now it's time for the word of the day. <sighs> Okay, today's word is eggplant. Eggplant. In Japanese, it is nasubi, or sometimes you'll come, you'll you'll hear it as nasu. Nasubi. No, nasubi. That's what I said. No, not nasubi. <laughs> nasubi. Nasubi. Just. Nasubi. Easier if you just say it, nasu. Nasu. Yeah, easier. So it's just a shortcut for nasubi. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's a shortened version. The Hawaiian word for eggplant is laho pipi. Okay. La, la ho. La ho pipi. Okay. La ho pipi. Now, is there a, a breakdown of that? It's, La ho pee pee. Like, does <laughs> part of the word mean something? I don't know because eggplant is not Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> that's so. why. That's why I asked. So I had to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I asked because it's something that wasn't here at the beginning. We don't use that vegetable in Hawaiian cuisine, and it's just very rarely. It's a rare word that ever needs to be used, so I'm going to have to do some research on that. But I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's Laho Pee Pee. And that's a wrap for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know if there's any place you want us to check out. And we'll see you next time.